The Ghana Grid Company, Gridco, has over the last 10 years made important strides in evacuating power and in improving grid stability. Gridco's mandate is to dispatch and transmit electricity from the generating companies to bulk customers such as Electricity Company of Ghana. With over 5,100 kilometers of transmission lines covering the whole country and about 58 operational substations, Gridco is on course to implement necessary investments to reliably transmit electric energy. The power sector is made up of three components. Generation, where power is generated. Then transmission, where the power that is generated is being transmitted across the transmission lines in the country to major substations where it is now delivered to what we call the distribution side of the chain and it is delivered to the final consumer. So Gridco is in the middle of the two, generation and then distribution and we would normally evacuate power from the various generating stations. We also have the responsibility to ensure that there is a balance between the supply and demand. So we study uh, how much demand or how much consumption is on the grid that is to be served and we compare with how much generation that is also uh, available to serve that load and we do what we call the dispatching, balancing these two uh, to ensure that at all times uh, consumers have power. Gridco's challenge over the years has been that most of its infrastructure has seen inadequate investment. The existing infrastructure was put in place over 40 years ago. To address this, Gridco has in recent years begun investing in its transmission infrastructure. The original transmission networks were constructed way back in 1965. Over the years, there have been growth in the power demand in Ghana and that required that we upgraded our transmission networks. So various new substations have been constructed, various new transmission lines have been constructed, some old transmission lines have been upgraded in order that we are able to evacuate power and transmit to any part of the country. Currently, we have one big uh, project that is upgrading substations all across the network, about 13 substations. Uh, that project is called the Substations Reliability Enhancement Project. In 2013, Substation Reliability Enhancement Project, SREP, was initiated to retool Gridco and ensure an improvement in power delivery. This involved the replacement of all aged and unreliable equipment at substations that are more than 40 years old to ensure efficient evacuation of electricity. It also involved the building of new control rooms at these locations as well as replacement of power and control cables. Substations that have seen upgrades include those in Achimota, Winneba, Takrade, Kumasi, and Aplao. Here, new transformers have been installed, cabling redone, and control rooms fully upgraded. The effect of this upgrade is already evident. Refurbishment at the Pong Power Station has improved the supply of water to the capital city of Accra. One of the substations that has benefited from our reliability enhancement project is the Old Pong Power Substation. And it is significant for us because that is the substation that serves the Ghana Water Company's facility, uh, water production facility at Pong. And by enhancing its reliability, we have been able to enhance power supply to the Ghana Water Company's facility at Old Pong. And therefore, from the power perspective, we think that it will impact positively on the reliability of water supply 
to all the consumers that Ghana Water Company has uh, for, for the Pong uh, headworks. Ghana has in recent years been faced with power challenges. These challenges have forced government in bringing on board emergency power plants in an attempt to address the situation. Greco has been actively involved in the evacuation of power from these emergency power plants. Greco has done a lot of things. You, you, you know, one of the things that we do is to undertake system studies to determine what we have to do when uh, any generator is coming on, on the system. And uh, we have done that for, for a number of uh, prospective generators, including some of the ones we call in emergency generators. Specifically, uh, two emergency plants uh, have actually been connected on, onto the grid. And uh, I'm talking about a car power plant uh, that was uh, uh, connected in December 2015 onto the grid. And also here from, from Tema, if I should say. And then also the Ameri plant that was also connected uh, to the grid uh, in January 2016. Uh, in all those emergency situations, what Grico had to do was to construct the interconnecting lines of facilities and to make sure that uh, the power that is generated at these plants are safely evacuated. And then we are very happy and proud to say that we've done that very well and that now we have been able to evacuate the car power ship plant and also the Ameri plant. The car power evacuating 225 megawatts of power and then also uh, the Ameri plant in Abuazi also around 240, 250 megawatts. As we are all aware for the past few years, it's been so bad, the power supply in the country was really very terrible. But uh, from the 24th of December last year, 26, uh, 2015, the situation has changed with the addition of some new generation, the Ameri plant, and then the car power plant. Presently, we are able to meet the demand in the country. Gridco has a standard where we require that we need about 18% more than we can meet. We are working towards that, so for now, Demand and supply are equally matched, and then uh, there's no lotion at all in the country. Gridco continues to respond to the many challenges regarding power transmission in order to ensure reliable power delivery. With first class state of the art control rooms in most of its facilities and the workforce of trained engineers and professionals, Gridco is on course in effectively managing the national grid system. Because the system is growing, it means more generation, and we are always uh, in tune with the generating plants, uh, upgrading the transmission network, making sure that they're able to evacuate power from their generating plant also reinforcing our network, um, rehabilitating the substation equipment to make them new. So as far as we are concerned, I think we are doing our bit to make the Ghana power system newer, more responsive, and uh, also making sure that the load as it grows, uh, we, is, we are able to transmit the power that is generated to the load points so that customers have reliable power supply. Gridco is positioned to deliver on its mandate of evacuating power wherever it may be to ensure a reliable power system. The assurance to Ghanaians is that we are going to continue to build and upgrade our transmission network. We are going to ensure that our substations are also very efficient and we are going to act in a very professional manner such that every time at all we are up to the task and then we deliver power where it's supposed to be delivered. Like it's been said, we are the backbone to power delivery in Ghana.